Hi everyone, we're back again. It's Miss Molnar and Harold the Hedgehog. Say hi to everyone. All right, last lesson, I had asked you at the end to go away and sort your coins into piles. I wonder how many 1p coins, 2p coins, 5p coins, and 10p coins you had in each group. Did you have more of one coin than others? When I sorted mine, I had seven 1p coins, but only two 5p coins, so I had a lot more 1 pence. Did you have something similar? Previously, we have used these tokens with dots on them. Can you remember? Do you have your two tokens still? If you've got them, can you go pause this video and go grab them now, because you're going to need them. If you don't have them made, don't worry, you can draw them on a piece of paper as well. All right, now that we've got our tokens, we are going to practice skip counting in twos using the tokens. So we know that they each have two dots on them, so they're all worth two. So make sure you lay your tokens out just like I have across the screen or you can follow with your finger and count on on the screen as well. All right, so we're gonna count together. Can you join in too? I'm gonna put Harold down for a minute because I'm gonna get my laser pointer out so we can count together. Are we ready? All right, so we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We counted 20 all together. So how many tokens does that mean I have on the screen? 10, you're right. 10 tokens that are worth two equal 20 dots all together. Did you remember that from last time? Really good job, way to go. Okay, let's have another go. Oh, wait, what do you notice about the tokens on my screen now? That's right, they all have five dots on them, so that means they're worth five. If you're using your tokens, can you grab your five tokens now, pause the video and lay them out, just like Miss Molnar has on the screen. If not, that's okay, you can draw them, or you can use your finger to point to each one as we count them. All right. Let's do it again together. I'll get my laser pointer out and we're going to count on in fives this time. Are we ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Well done everyone. We have counted up to 50 in fives. I know that you've gotten really good at counting in two fives and tens, so we were just trying to do a little bit of practice. If I counted to 50 in fives, how many tokens does that mean I have on the screen? That's right, I've got 10 tokens. Five on each token equals 50. So in our last lesson, we looked at four different coins and their values, and we looked at them. Remember our feely bag game? Did you play that game at home? Can you remember what each coin was and what they were worth? All right, so I'm going to take them out again, just as a recap, to see if we can remember. All right, this is the first coin I have. What's this coin again? That's right, it's the 1p coin, and it's got a value of one. Okay, I'm not going to go in order at all because I want to make it tricky for you. All right, here we go. Here's the next coin that I've got from my feely bag. What's this one? That's right, it's the 10p coin and it's got a value of 10. Well done, everyone. Okay, now I've got this one. Do you remember this coin? If you said the 5p coin, that's right. It's much smaller than some of our other coins, but it's worth five. It's got a value of five. And then our last coin here, our fourth one. 
this coin here, do we remember? That's right, it's a 2p coin. Today, we're going to explore how one coin, like a two pence coin, can be worth the same as several penny coins. I'm going to use two purses and I've drawn them like this. All right, that's my two purses on my whiteboard. And you could do the same or you could go grab two purses if you have them. So maybe you want to draw them on one piece of paper or two different colored pieces of paper so if you have them. So if you can now draw two purses, just like Miss Molnar's, or go collect two purses for this lesson. All right, so I've labeled my purses. One purse is for me, Miss Molnar, and the other purse I've labeled for Harold. You can do the same on your purses. You can label one for yourself and one for Harold. So as you can see in Miss Molnar's purse, there is a 2p coin. You can place a 2p coin in your purse as well. Now, I want Harold to have the same value as Miss Molnar in his purse, but using different coins. So, he needs to have 2p, but not a 2p coin. How many pennies need to go in Harold's purse to equal 2p. Have a go and show me which coins you would use and I'm going to do the same. Harold's going to help me out. All right, if you said two one penny coins, you are right. Harold needs two pennies to equal the same value as one 2p coin. So even though there's more coins in Harold's purse, they equal the same amount. They're both worth 2p. So when I look at my one 2p coin in my purse, I say two pence, but I think two one pennies. Okay, so even though it's one coin and I say two pence, I think two one pennies. This time in my purse, I have a five pence coin in Miss Molnar's purse. Again, I want both of our purses, mine and Harold's, to have the same value. How many one penny coins would Harold need to have in his purse? Can you show me with your coins? Have a go at that and I'll get mine ready as well. Ooh, I've got lots of different looking pennies in my purse this time with different pictures on their faces. All right, I'm ready, are you? If you said that you need five one pennies, you are right. Well done. This is a five pence coin. It has a value of 5p or the same as five one pennies. They, we both have the same value in our purse. Even though Harold has lots more coins, we have the same amount or an equal amount. We both have five pence. So remember, I say five pence when I look at this coin, but I think five one penny. Okay, I say five pence, but I think in my head about five one pennies. All right, shall we have one more go? This final time, I've got a Miss Molnar's purse one 10 pence coin. Now, again, Harold wants to have the same value, so we want to know how many one penny coins does Harold need in his purse to have the same amount as Miss Molnar. 
have a go now putting them in Carol's purse and I'm going to do the same. Let's see if you can do it quicker than I can. I'm getting all the pennies that I need. So I've got an equal amount to 10 pence. My goodness, they almost don't all fit in Harold's purse here. And there we go. So how many one pennies did you put in Harold's purse? If you said 10, you're so right. 10 one penny coins equals the same amount as a 10p coin. Well done. But Harold seems to think he's gotten really excited all of a sudden because he thinks he's actually got a greater amount than Miss Molnar because he's got more coins. Is he right? Does he have more money than Miss Molnar? No, Harold, you don't have a, the um, more money. Even though you've got more coins, we have an equal amount of money because one 10 pence coin is the same as 10 one penny coins because the 10 pence coin is, has a higher value. So we've got the same amount. So remember, when I'm looking at a 10 pence coin, I say 10 pence, but I think in my head, 10, one penny. So Harold and Miss Mona really want to go shopping for some new materials for the classroom. If Harold and I both have 10 pence in our purses, what could we buy that costs exactly 10p? That's right, we could both buy the eraser. So the eraser is over here. We could both buy the eraser because it costs 10p. Even though Harold had more coins than I did, remember we both had the same value. That 10, one 10 pence coin is the same as 10 one pennies. So either of us could buy the eraser. Now, some of you might have said that we could have bought the mini spinning top as we have more than 9p, and you would be right, but today we're thinking about things that we can buy for the exact amount. So that's why we need to say the eraser for 10p. This time when I visit the shop, I've come by myself with my purse. Okay, so we're just gonna think about Miss Molnar shopping. I'm going to use my purse to show how many one penny coins I would need buy some of the other items in the shop. Can you help me? So I would like to buy the pencil first. How many one penny coins would I need? Can you put them in your purse for me? So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to grab however many one penny coins I need to buy the pencil. Let's see if you can do it quicker than I can. All right, so how many one penny coins do I need to buy the pencil? Let's see. If you said six one penny coins, you are right, because the pencil costs six P. So remember, I say the pencil costs six pence, but I think six one pennies. All right, what do I want to buy next? Hmm. I think I would like to buy the marble. So how many one penny coins would I need? Can you put them in your purse and show me? If you said four one pennies, you are right. I say four pence, but I think four one pennies. Finally, I would like to show you two purses and we are going to compare them. Can you tell me if they have the same value or not? 
Okay, take a close look. I've got a two pence coin and two one penny coins. Do they have the same amount or are they different amounts? What do you think? If you said they're equal amounts, you are right. Even though I've got two penny coins, it's not worth more. It's worth the same as a two pence coin. So I've got an equal amount in both purses. All right, let's try one more, shall we? All right, look carefully this time. Do my purses have the same value of coins or a different value of coins? What do you think? If you said they have different values, you're right. Because on this side, I've got three one penny coins, which equals three pence. And on the other side, in the other purse, I've got one two p coin, which equals two pence. So that means Three pence is a greater value or more money than two pence. So they are not equal amounts. Well, we hope you enjoyed counting today with our coins. So we've got a practice activity for you to take away today to do at home. So what you'll need to do is have pairs of purses again. So whether that's real purses or you draw them like mine, what you need to do is you need to show one coin in one purse and in the other purse, show how many pennies would have the same or equal value. So you might want to use a five pence coin in one side or two pence or 10 points, or maybe you even want to challenge yourself and put in two five pences or two 10 pence coins and see what happens. But remember, we'll say five pence, but we think five one pennies. All right, take care everyone.